All artists strive to paint consistently well, but what we don't realize is that's the worst thing we can do to our art. Today I was reminded of this by one simple painting, and I want to share with you some reasons why I believe that painting consistently well can only hurt us in the long run, and what we can focus instead for long-term success. And don't worry, this is not going to be a cliche of you have to love your bad work, but what you have to do might surprise you. Just like I was so surprised on the outcome of this painting. So I want to start by defining what's painting consistently well to me. And you also have to define that for yourself. Uh, to me, painting consistently well means that I am proud of what I'm producing no matter what I'm painting. If you are consistently proud of your work, you'll soon arrive at a place called your comfort zone. And the worst thing about that is you don't even realize it. You think that you're progressing, that you're getting better, but no, what you're doing is actually stagnating. I'm gonna take today as an example. I didn't even sketch in the notebook before I started painting. And that is because for the past three days, I've been, no, actually I think it's four days, I've been painting skies and I feel pretty confident in skies. So I was like, you know what? Today I am once more trapped in this room because the weather won't let up. It's been snowing more than I've seen in like five years. The five years that I've been living here, I've never seen it snow so much, making it completely impossible for me to go out and paint in plein air. So my best next thing is just to be in this room and look outside the window and try to paint something from there. So I started painting this guy following the step-by-step -step method that I've shared before on how to paint sunsets easily. So I thought I was within my comfort zone. I thought that I was gonna be able to just tackle this without a problem. Little did I know that I was far from the truth. So I blindly continued my process of building the layers of temperature and value as I always do. And even with a bigger brush, I never used this brush before, at least not in this project. So I was very confident and you could say a bit cocky. And those are the kinds of things that happen when we paint consistently well. We stop thinking about the decisions that we're making in the process because we're just following some sort of instinct. We follow a formula that we have discovered and think that we can just apply to just about any subject that we paint in even the same subject. So the first thing is becoming blind to your own methods and formulas and applying them without really giving it a thought. Maybe this is just a me thing and that's what I do, but I want to bet that probably this happens when we start painting consistently well and stop really thinking about the process as much as we do when we're starting out. And because we become blind to our own methods, this only causes a lot more problems in the long run. Like the other thing that we already touched on, which is the progress fallacy. Just because we're able to tackle the same subject several times with a reasonable amount of success, that does not mean that we're progressing. However, it feels like we are because we're not making as many mistakes. But what that means really is that we're not being challenged enough. And although I'm all up for not being challenged every time we paint, if we're never challenged while we paint, then we're gonna get stuck, but without even knowing it. But the good news is that there is a way for this not to happen to you. And it's very simple and you even don't have to do it consciously. Maybe sometimes, but most of the time, you don't need to even think about it to know that you're not getting stuck. And this painting reminded me of this just by existing and just by me finishing it. And that is failing at painting something. I used to be ashamed of showing my bad work, the work that I failed on. But today was a special day because I failed to paint this. And therefore, I was reminded that if I don't fail consistently, or at least to some degree, then I'm not learning anything new. But if you don't wanna fail like I did, there's one simple thing that you can do to prevent that, and that is subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye.